what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing another declutter video i'm doing the other side of my makeup drawers so this is like powders eyeshadows like my most used eyeshadows um i have these two drawers are like down here which you can't see are a total mess and my bottom drawer is like a ton it's just it's i've been needing to go through this for a long time so this might be a long one, I'm not really sure. Also, this is my favorite pajama shirt. If you don't wear like pajamas when you're decluttering, it is a scientific fact that you're not gonna do it well. Like you're not gonna do it to your maximum potential. You need to be in comfortable clothes. Otherwise, it's just not gonna go well. Like you're not in the right train of thought, you know? So um, I like this, uh, this is my personal clothing choice because I like to look like I'm, you know, pajama wear but I also like to look like I'm next top chef so um, I wonder if I should leave it up like this like I need to title this video top chef declutters their makeup okay. let's get into it I've got my trusty garbage can for stuff that just needs to go um, but for the most part, this is pretty organized, but I definitely do need to get rid of some stuff. But it's going to be really, really, really hard. So, let's do this. Let me move this back so you can see. Okay. Boo! He's biting me. Okay. First things first. Um, this is my sh sh Chanel Soleil Dante. <clears throat> Can't talk. <laughs> Chanel Soleil Dante. Dude, this top chef can't talk right now. Okay, this is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I can't get rid of this. Um, if you don't care about being cruelty free, this is like, and if you want an introduction into Chanel makeup, this is the first thing that you need to buy. It's only $50 and you get this nice wicked little logo. This is the only Chanel thing I can afford. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that. Ooh, this I can't get rid of. This is the Anastasia highlighter and I can't get rid of it because it's so Hollywood. I can't get rid of it because they don't sell these anymore and this is just a great formula. I use this on my body actually because it's too dark for my face. But, um, okay. <sighs> what the heck's going on? So I have a, a L'Oreal powder, which I need to declutter but I don't want to because I love the formula of this powder. And it's really hard for me to find powders. I've had this forever. Um, I probably bought this just before I went cruelty free, so I've had it for a long time, but it's still like something that I like. I don't want to get rid of it because it's like I already bought it, you know. Um, butter bronzer, not going to get rid of. This is not going well. This is not going well. But the problem is I use this stuff, you know. So maybe this is more of like a tour video than anything else. And like an organizational. I have a brush in here, which I need to move somewhere else. And then I have um, this, this is actually not a moisturizer but I put powder in it, and it's the RCMA powder. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that over here. Okay, so then this is the Kylie Jenner freaking, um, God, I never use this. I really, I wanna, I wanna keep this for a dupe video, and then after that I'll probably get rid of it. I never use this. It's her Fiji powder. Um, it's just not the right shade for me. I just don't like it, but I might bring this, um, Next time I go like on a uh, vacation, like a beach vacation, which never happens. So, oh, I love this too. This is the Well Rested Powder from Bare Minerals. It's really good for brightening under your eyes. When nothing else will work, this will work. Like if you don't have a, I actually need to set this aside so I know to use it. Um, okay, I never use this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the Nars Laguna Powder. All right, we got rid of our first thing. <laughs> Never use it, and I don't use NARS anymore. This is the NARS Pressed Powder and Beach. Oh, shit, I gotta keep it. I don't have that many powders, that's the problem. I'm like struggling for powders. What the hell? Dude. Get out. Annoying. I hope people know how you treat me. <laughs> they do, oh, and they uh, oh, support me. Oh, you have the camera angled so you can't see me. you slamming my face in the door? Me. I need this room, by the way. Me? Wait, changing the title to Top, she Top Chef Beats the Fuck Out of Way Right? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Do you think, yeah, you it, is pretty, it is pretty funny to think you're a Top Chef. <gasps> oh, I hope people know how you treat me. And that better make the cut. It won't. Fuck that guy. 
Ew! Can you get Boo out of here? Never mind, he ran away. Okay. Oh, shoot, I gotta I get sit like this. Okay. Um, this is the NARS powder in, um, it's a highlighter in Albatross. I can't get rid of this because it has nostalgic... Dude, I'm not doing good. This is like really, really... <laughs> this is bad. Oh, this is a Physicians Formula highlighter. Um, I'm gonna take this out of here because I don't use it, but it is a good dupe for a lot of things. Like, there's no way he's actually fucking blending something right now. Okay, back to business. We were momentarily annoyed, but okay. So this is the Tarte um, Blush Palette. As you can see right here, it's a really good palette. Um, it's limited edition, like all their stuff is. I don't know why it is. I love the, like this shade right here, particularly. Um, so I keep it out. I like their blushes. They're pretty good. They stay a long time. So um, like their Amazonian clay ones, which those are. So I'm going to keep that. I like the packaging. Sometimes I like to bring it if I'm doing somebody else's makeup. Um, so I'm going to stop talking so much. I'm keeping this. I mean, I'm realizing this is like not a good drawer because what? What are you doing? Look at me. Wait. No, can you get him off? Dude, get him off. Wait. Me grabbing Boo when you're filming. Me grabbing Boo when you're filming. Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, get him. Actually, get him out. Get him out because he's being bad. Get him out and close that door too. Get him out, he's right by my camera. Dude. <laughs> wow, you got your own cameraman today? <laughs> I'm about to fire you. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out. And tell him that cats are supposed to sleep throughout the day and I don't know what the fuck he's doing awake. But get him out. Because he was up all night. Well, can you close, close that door too? And he better stop. No, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. Ugh. Okay, this is the Essence Sun Club Bronzer. Keeping this, I love it for fair skin and just all the time. Um, these are something I'm definitely going to have to get rid of because I don't use them. I don't really like them that much either. This is the NYX Cosmic Metals. It just doesn't really do, like, I don't reach for it ever. So I'm going to declutter that. And that's something that's been taking up a lot of space in my drawer, honestly. Here's the NYX uh, uh, Lid Lingerie. It's a good little neutral palette, but again, like, I don't ever use it. There's a hair in it. I never use it, so. I'm gonna declutter that also. Like, I'm gonna donate that. NYX Prime and Fine Contouring Palette. Um, honestly, I don't really use this, so I'm probably gonna just declutter that and just put it, um, with that I'm just gonna get rid of it because I think my sister would like it or something you know um, this I just bought and I like it it's the shade and light like it comes in a um, like this now uh, which I really like and I'm just like yahoo so I'm gonna keep it for sure this is the Desi and Katie um, collaboration it's the Noli what is this? I love the packaging so I'll probably keep it for the packaging I honestly don't probably use it as much as I should but I want to get their other palette um, they came out with with Ulta um, I'm gonna get their other palette that they when it goes on sale with the Ulta Beauty or whatever sale I don't know what am I saying okay here's a mini Laura Mercier which is actually what I bring with me when I travel because um, it's actually it's actually good like it's not one of those teeny there's even smaller size of this that I've gotten before and I was like extremely mad because you can't get it out this is actually good like this is the one that you can buy in the Sephora like entryway so yeah um here we go this is the Jordan Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream I'm probably gonna uh, declutter that because I have stuff back here that's like I never use um, this is from a MAC thing that somebody bought me as a gift, I think, and it came with a bunch of glitters. I think it's a cute bag, so I'm probably going to keep it, honestly. It's got like a disco ball. Um, this is a Jouer highlighter that's just randomly... Yeah, don't know what that is. That's going to go. Here we go, here we go. 
NYX Ultimate Palette. Um, these are this is cute. It's like I'm really intrigued by these down here, except I just don't use these. So and they've been sitting back there, like pushed back there. So obviously I'm not using it that much. I'm gonna donate that, um, and somebody else will be happy to get it. I'm sure. Um, sorry. I, let me do this is kind of part here. Okay, so this is the Jordana Sculpting Go um, Medium stick. So I actually use these. I'm gonna keep that. Sorry, I'm like not doing too good. This is a NYX Ultimate Finish. Look how crazy this is. Isn't this cool? Ugh, I'm so devastated. I don't know. Like I'm kind of conflicted on this. I think I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile. So I'm gonna start a maybe pile because. I don't know, that's stuff that like, these are colors I don't really have, so, you know, in the event that I ever need to do something, this I cannot get rid of, and I actually need to put this out so I can see it. The reason why I can't get rid of it is because I feel like it's a really nice, um, this came from a Too Faced Holiday collection, which usually the Too Faced Holiday collections are ass, but this one's pretty good because um, this is the most perfect bronze shade ever. I've talked about it before in bonjour. And I like that it's like you could you could technically use this for like a full look. Um, and I really like the, the blush in it too. So I actually really like this palette. And it's like I can't get it anymore, you know. This is the um, Beauty Creation Scandalous Glow. It is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette that was like really really popular and they discontinued it nobody knows why so um if you want to get this it's really really good except i have i do have the actual anastasia one so i am going to donate this to uh, my my family and my sister these are this is a mac pigment in the shade english guilt i already have another one of these so i'm just going to declutter that and then i have this milk makeup bronzing thing. I don't like it that much, but I feel like I need it for a video. So I'm going to actually hang on to it. Um, another thing that's back here. I just like shoved a bunch of stuff back here. I don't know why. This is a Sigma palette. I don't like this. I don't use it. So I'm going to declutter this because I've clearly not really used it that much. I don't even know why I have it. So that's Gonzo. Okay, so this is kind of weird. I don't know if anyone even knows what these are. These are the Buxom palettes. So you can kind of create your own. Um, like, and you push them, you can take them out. Here we go. You see right here? You can take them out and like put different colors in. So these are the colors that I don't like. So I'm probably gonna just, you know, declutter that one. But I think I did put together colors that I kind of liked in this one. I don't know. I mean, I don't really like these colors that much, <laughs> to be honest with you. Let me see if there's something. Maybe I can, like, switch out some of the ugly colors for better ones. Yeah, I probably, you know what? I probably could. I don't know what the hell I was thinking with some of these. All right, that's the new and improved palette. So it's not that great. Honestly, I don't really like it. I'll probably end up decluttering it, but I'm just going to keep it because... I did spend a lot of money like trying to create that. I don't know. That's like when I worked at Sephora, I was like, oh, let me try to do something here. Because I would have nothing to do and I would always have to clean the, the Buxom uh, bays. So I would like look at all the eyeshadows and like at the time there was nothing really else like that for customization. So I kind of liked the, the concept. But now it's just like, God, these are boring. They, they bore me to tears. Okay. So I pretty much cleaned out everything back there. I just have this little Bahama Mama bronzer. And honestly, I don't need it. So it's a little, it's obviously too dark for me. I used to use it on my body, but I have something else that I could probably, ah, oh shoot. You know what? I used to use this. I used to bring this on vacations. No, nah, I used to use it on vacations and I'm, and I'm going on a vacation this year. So I'm just going to keep it for that. This is like the worst thing ever. Ever, ever. The packaging does not ha let it come out. It's disgusting. Look what it did. Can you kind of see that? That product. It's so bad, dude. It's literally so bad. Okay. Let's start tackling these drawers. Obviously, I'm going to have to split this video up into two parts because I'm never going to get through this. But um, this I love, and I've been hanging on to it for dear life, even though it's got a... <laughs> um, it has, you know, seen better days, and it's, like, freaking broken. 
but this is like one of the best highlighters of all time. Literally of all time, it's so freaking good. This is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Or Cindy Lumen, it's Mary Lou, I think. Yeah, Mary Lou. This is a Catrice Strobing Blush. I never use this. Um, even though it's a really pretty like shade, it's just that I don't use it, you know? So I'm probably just going to pass that along because I need to make some room in here because I just shove stuff in here all the time, every day. This I use. This is something I use every single day, and I love it because it's super um, like metallic more than anything else that I have. Even like loose highlighters, it's just so metallic. So this is the Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. I love it. Cannot get rid of that. It is so good. This is a, the Coralina um, blush from Milani. I'm gonna keep that. This I'm not gonna keep. This is a Sigma. Um, blush, which is a really pretty color. I just never reach for it. So this is in the shade Corde Rosa. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then here we go. We have a Catrice Healthy Looking Powder. Um, I don't use that, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is a blush that I freaking love. It's the number seven Peach Velvet Blush. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time, honestly, and it comes from such a random brand. So I'm going to keep that for sure. Then we have, oh, this is one of my faves. This is Bobbi Brown. This is another, like, cult favorite. It's in the shade Nectar, uh, number 11. It's just a classic, so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm not doing too good right now. This is another one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's Frat Boy from The Balm. It's just a really nice peach um, blush, so got to keep it. Got to keep it. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. Again, like, um, it's a really pretty shade. And I really am kind of like, ooh, I probably should keep that. I'll put it in my maybe pile, which is over here. This I can't get rid of. It's just such, like, a classic. And it's just such a perfect shade for your lid. I literally, like, the packaging is coming off. But this is Steal a Kitten eyeshadow. They're literally like 20 bucks, so I'm going to keep it. I still use it on my eye, like eyelid from time to time. I always used to use this like a few years ago when I worked at Sephora. And it's still good, you know what I'm saying? So i got to keep it. Here's the NARS Orgasm Blush. I'm just going to keep it because it's such a cult favorite. Um, sometimes I do reach for it, like not very often. I have to be in like a certain, you know, it like has to be a certain look. So, yeah. Then I have this, which I'm actually probably going to get rid of because I have the other one. So this is the Ofra highlighter. It's just like a bunch of different shades. Since I have the other one, I'm just gonna get rid of this one um, and like, you know, pass it along. This is just like a cult favorite. I've had this since I worked at Sephora. It's one of the first things I bought with my <laughs> friggin' Sephora discount. So I'm gonna keep it and just keep using it up because it's good, you know? Um, I bought these MAC powders a long time ago, and I still love them, and actually this is the one that I use now because my skin is so fair, and I don't have any, like, fair powders, and this one's just really good. It's full coverage, and when you're so fair, it's hard to find good face products, I've found, so, um, I'm gonna keep this because it's just really good. You guys know I love this. I can't get rid of it. Rimmel Stay Matte. This is another, like, freaking classic, dude. This is... Um, Urban Decay Space Cowboy, and it's one of my all-time favorite single eyeshadows, and I just love it. Like, it's just, like, such a cool shade, and you're never going to see that in a million years. I don't even know where I put it. Oh, I think I put it right here. It's got, like, micro glitters in it, and it's, like, so shiny and almost wet looking. So, I used to put this all over my lid and just, like, call it a day, and it was, like, I was so effortless. I loved it. I used to be so carefree. Um, here's another powder, which I don't know why I have this, so I'll probably, like, actually throw this away type of thing. Um, this is another L'Oreal. That's the first throw away. I actually don't have that much trash in here. Um, this is another MAC Fix Plus powder, so this is just in a darker shade. So I'm going to keep these because I do like them, and let's put these powders together. This is the Peach Perfect Highlighter. I'm going to put it, um, I mean powder, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put my other powder right there. And uh, actually, you know what I should do? I should put all my powders in one thing. Like face powders. That actually is a lot, makes a lot more sense. I'll put my highlighters here. Put my highlighters here. So 
So here's a face powder. And here's a face powder. Okay, perfect. That actually works out perfectly. So um, we're going to do highlighters in this back one right here. And do I have any more? Okay, that's good. So then I have this, which I'm going to find a place for eventually. Here, I need to put this here. And then I should have Okay. Shit, this is a face powder too. Um, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, we're good. We're looking good here, people. So let's go back to this one now. So these are two Visart eyeshadow palettes. I love these. Still use these if I'm looking for a good one. Um, so I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'm keeping those. Definitely keeping this. The Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow. It's just like a friggin' classic. Come on, people. Gotta keep that. This is my favorite palette. Seriously, face palette of all time. Um, I love each one of these. Don't love the highlighter that much, but I this blush and this bronzer. I love. I love the smell of it. Love the packaging. I, I always use it to this day. So then I have this, which I'm going to move over to the other drawer. This is the Marc Jacobs um, like highlighter drops. So I'm going to put that actually over in my other drawers if you watched my last video. And then I also have this, which I need to move over to my other drawers, which is the uh, Fearless Cheek Stain. So some of this stuff's going to be moving. Like these, these also, like um, Jordana Sculpting Glows, I love these. Don't need this one because it's too dark, but like these I love. The um, This is in Pearl Glow, and I use the light one for contour when I'm fair. So I think I'm going to move those over to the other drawer because it makes more sense over there. This I hate. This is the worst uh, mascara ever. It's the NARS Audacious one. This is a mini little Stila thing, which I need to move over into the other drawer. Again, people, like, come on, I need to move it. Then this is a NARS, um, ooh, Copacabana, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my other drawer. So check it out, people. Let's see, let's put this stuff back. So I'm gonna put my, uh, let's put my face palettes all together in one. And then we'll put eyeshadows. All together in one right here. This is the Amrezy highlighter, which I like. So I'm going to put that in there. Oh, it fits perfect. Thank you, God. And then back here, this is the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. I don't like it that much, but I feel like I need to still use it like when I'm really, really, really tan. But honestly, I haven't liked it that much. So prob that's in a maybe pile. Maybe. This is the um, Hourglass bronzer so I'm gonna keep it I do I do like it I, th I mean I must have been I also liked it because I bought it <laughs> but I don't know why I bought it that's the problem that's the freaking problem right, so I'm gonna put my bronzers right here and then this is just a mini like uh, make a forever bl blush that I really like uh, but it's in like this weird ass container I don't know why let me see what the shade is the shade is B302. So I like this. Um, I'll, I'll put it in my blush thing because I don't want it to be just floating around. But I, I need like a container for that because I don't like how that that is right now. I don't like that. So let me put this also in here. Shoot, I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to have to put this in a different drawer. Um, let's see. Wow, I really got rid of a lot of stuff, you guys. That's it. I mean, I got rid of a lot of stuff, actually. Shoot, that's not going to work. Put that right there. Wow, I'm proud of myself. And then I'm going to... Oh, I can put this here. Because that count, counts as an eyeshadow. Okay. You know what? Since I got rid of so much stuff, I'm actually surprised. I am going to hold on to this. And I'll just keep it kind of like right here. I'm gonna put this back here. I will keep this and I'll keep it. I'll hang on to this for now, but just know I'll probably get rid of it. Um, no, you know what? I'll just get rid of it now. 
Um, okay, that's it for that drawer. So this drawer is my most used palette. So like if I need to reach for an eyeshadow palette, it's probably gonna come out of this drawer. And I really don't use anything else besides this, so I really need to declutter the stuff down below it. But there is some stuff that has made its way in here where I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of that. Or like move it out to a different drawer or whatever, like cycle it out. So this is the first thing I'll look at. This palette right here is from um, Bad Habit. It's a new Cult Mania palette after the, uh, inspired by the palette, Pat McGrath palettes, which are super expensive. Um, I'm still trying to use this one, but I just feel like sometimes I don't, I really like it. I like the, I really would keep it more for like the, um, these shades, which I will definitely keep this. And I'm going to leave it in this drawer so I know to use it, but yeah. Um, this is a palette I'm going to keep for sure. This is a, um, Makeup Revolution Emily, uh, the Emily Edit, the Wants palette. So everybody knows this palette from my channel. Yee This palette is like 20 bucks and it's got different shades you don't see every day. Um, is it the best palette in the world? No. Definitely not, but it's 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 good for the price. It's really, really, really good in my opinion. And you get a lot of use out of it, a lot of looks, and um, the mattes are really, really strong in my opinion. So um, especially if you do like neutral looks, this is a good palette. Again. Is it the best palette in the world? No, I'm pretty sure every, that's clear on everybody, like everybody gets that. But um, for the price, really good. Okay, so this palette right here, super good, super different. Um, it's got the glitters in here, which I've been preaching forever. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people come out with palettes these days with glitter in them. And it looks like they're finally listening to me. I'm the only person that I know that's been preaching about the, like glitter in the palettes. Like, I really haven't seen anybody else suggesting that to brands, so I feel like I'm the pioneer of fucking glitter in the palettes, and yeah, that's kind of an egotistical move, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is my Huda Beauty palette, and I'm gonna keep it for sure. Whoa, I still use it, I love the glitters. I love that it has glitters, and it's just different, you know? So, okay, this is a highlighter palette, and I haven't got a chance to use this yet, so I'm definitely going to have to move this, um, but, like, I don't use it enough because I just don't see it because it's in this drawer. don't know why it's in this drawer. Um, I have a lot of stuff from Makeup Revolution that I need to try out, so I'm going to put this actually off to the side, so that's going to move out of this drawer. This needs to move out of this drawer, too, because it's, um, this is the highlighter palette I was talking about where there's a, this is the dupe for it. It's right here. Um, this is the one that's the dupe. Hold on. See what I mean? So, yeah, I'm gonna keep this, but I need to put this, I feel like, in a different drawer. I might put it back in here, I'm not sure. This is kind of where I big, put my bigger face palettes. This is the Carity All Day Rosé palette. I like this. It's a, it's a good little pink palette. These are super uh, affordable palettes, too, and they're vegan. Um, and a lot of the, the money goes to supporting animals, so, um, hmm, this is a maybe, I'm not really sure how I feel about this right now, so, you know, you know, um, this is a, oh, this is my favorite palette of all time, if I could pick one palette, this would be it, and I think that always, like, confuses people, they're like, really, this palette, it's, it's good, okay, it's, to me, it's the curation of it, and the way that these blend together, it is the most perfect blend. I don't know about the new formula, because I know that they just changed the packaging on these. I don't know. They're like in black packaging with a mirror now. To me, this palette is so good. I love it. Like, this shade is shit, and like their other sparkly or shimmery shade in here is shit, but um, they just all work so good together, you know? So, I've always loved that palette. Um, this is a Jekyll Hill. Can't get rid of this. I use this all the time. It is one of the best palettes ever made. Just so good. The only thing is I wish they had a uh, a matte cream shade to sh set your lid because that's the only thing this palette's missing in my opinion. Um, so, but yeah, this is just such a good palette. I freaking love it. I need to get them with a mirror though. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Um, this palette I also freaking love. I love this palette. The Burgundy palette, it's so good. Again, the curation of this, everything goes together so well. They blend together like a dream. Um, it's good for fall, though, so uh, more for fall. 
this, what the heck, I need to move this into another drawer because I always forget to use it. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantastic, and it's like a really nice, like almost like a gel bronzer. It's so good, but I need to move it. Is it gonna freaking, I don't think it'll fit up here. Like, oh, this is devastating. I'm devastated, I'm devastated. It's like, am I gonna see it back there? I don't, I feel like I wouldn't see it. Well, whatever better than where it is now this is uh this is so good it's another good palette this is freaking if you guys remember this oh my god Be Jaclyn Hill Becca um palette it's so good but and I love like the two blush shades in, or the three blush shades in here they're so good and like the champagne pop like I keep it for that because I think this is my only champagne pop that I own so and it's just got a good mirror good packaging so Keeping that, because that's limited edition, people would probably pay an arm and a leg for that one. This is the Emily Edit That Needs palette. It's a, again, it's a pretty good palette for on the go. I don't find myself using it that much. Um, so, hmm. I don't want to get rid of it because I feel like it still has a place. It still has a place. But, yeah, it still has a place. I'm going to keep it. Okay, this palette I got, this is the remastered Huda Beauty palette that I bought. I need to start using this more. Why do I not use this enough? It's just like, I swatched this at Sephora and I was just mesmerized. Look at how shiny those shades are. So I'm going to keep that for sure. I'm not really getting rid of anything. That's not good. Um, whoa. <laughs> this is crazy. This is the Laura Lee Party Animal palette. When you look at this, I'm like, dang, like, those are some different shades. They're really kind of cool. Um, and it has a shade called Bottoms Up in it, which is just like, come on, I need that. I don't have a lot of, you know what, I don't have a whole lot of colorful shades. So, you know what, I am going to keep it. And I'm going to put it up here, kind of back here. That's not to say I'll never use it, but I just don't use colorful shades that much. Um, but I, I'm gonna, I am going to keep that. I don't want to get rid of it. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. We got this in a boxy charm, and I'm pretty sure this is Kathleen White's friend's uh, palette. This is a good little palette right here. It's got um, some good shades in it. I don't use it that much, to be honest with you, so um, ugh, I don't want to get rid of it, though. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I love these shades. I love these. Like, literally love these this is <laughs> oh my god i need to use these more shoot these are the nyx palettes they came out with so long ago like the fire they came out with all the elements oh my god look how beautiful it is like seriously this is one of the best red like only red eyeshadows i even have so good like a yellow it's just different and it's such good quality i have the metals one which is just all metallic foiled eyeshadows look at that Gor gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous i'm keeping all of these except i really need to start using them this earth one oh my god for fall it's such a good palette like i create some of like just some really great shadows again these are really well curated you know they all work together pretty well so i'm gonna keep those i definitely had another one i don't know where it is but I bought these at Gen Beauty, and I have a story about Gen Beauty, which I don't know if it's kind of like lukewarm tea at this point, but I would, I was thinking about doing a story time forever about it. I was so fucking pissed, but um, now I have this, what is this? Oh my God. This Morphe Dare to Create palette, or what is this? Yeah, Dare to Create 39A. Look at how freaking big this is, dude. Like, why does a palette need to be this big? I'll keep I'm gonna keep it but I really you know if I if I find myself not using it I'm gonna toss it because or just don't need it because it's just so big it's just taking up a lot of room oh I love this palette so much this is the desert dusk palette from Huda Beauty and it, again it has like a glitter in it it's got all these really pretty shades I just love it so much there's a really good dupe for this uh through bad habit but um yeah i'm gonna probably keep this it's just got a lot of different stuff i love her palettes too they're such good palettes like truly worth the money for those 
Oh my god, I love this palette too. Oh wow. I need to start using this right now. This is the freaking oh two, B, BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. One of the best drugstore, like affordable, not drugstore, but affordable palettes of all time, dude. This is such a banger. This palette is such a banger. It's different as fuck. It's so good. It's so good. Keeping that and putting that at the top of the pile. Yes, you heard that right. This is a Manny Life's a Drag palette. I need to use this way more often because I really liked a certain look. Oh, the looks with these. I love these shades right here. They were bangers. So um, I'm definitely going to keep this. But I need, again, it's like I need to start using this stuff more. But yeah, these are good quality. Except for this shade, which is ironic. It's Kiki. I actually don't like that. That's the only shade I didn't like. But everything else is like really, really pigmented, especially like the yellow and the pink. So I'm going to keep that for sure. This palette I know I'm getting rid of. I absolutely hate this palette. It's so bad. It's so tacky, cheesy, Lisa Frank. No thank you. Look how big it is. It's their Violet Voss Pro palette. I just don't like Violet Voss shadows, to be honest with you. Um, they're just, they leave a little bit too much to be desired, so... I am actually feeling such a sigh of relief to get rid of that. But that's the first thing I've gotten rid of. And I literally haven't gotten rid of anything else. <laughs> okay. NYX Ultimate Palette. Ooh, I love this palette. It's so good. Um, but I need to get rid of one because I can't keep both. I just can't keep both. And right now, I have both of these. So I'm in a little bit of a dilemma here. They look really similar. I'm keeping both. I'm mad at myself, but I'm just going to put them in here. I'm going to put them back here. Nobody knew, nobody even has to know that I'm keeping both of them. Because <laughs> that's really bad. I have bad habits. Bad habits. People. Okay. So, let's put all this stuff back and then we'll wrap this video up. And I'm going to have to save these crazy drawers for later, but I will give you a preview of what they look like so you have something to look forward to for the next declutter video um i'm gonna put this one back here too because again i was kind of unsure about it but um, it's pretty good because that one kind of doubles as like a face palette too which so that's why i'm putting it out there oh this is a face palette too oh, shoot. I'm like shoving stuff back here. I should not be doing this. This is not a good idea. Okay. We're good. So now let's put this all back. Oh wait, did I show you this? I have this too. Which I probably could get rid of now because I actually have, I actually could probably get rid of this. Which, oh, it'll be kind of hard. I've had this so long. I'm not going to get rid of it yet, but I'm going to put it towards the back. I'm still deciding what to do with these. I'm probably just going to leave them in here. That's such a bad thing to do. You know what? I'm going to put them down here, actually. And then decide when I get to those for the next video. It doesn't look that good, but I don't care. I'm keeping this out here so I know to use it. Must use. Okay, so that's it. That's it, y'all. That's that's my makeup declutter for today. Um, this is what you have look look to, you have to look forward to for next week, and uh, we'll definitely tackle that. There's gonna be a lot more stuff going in the garbage. I only put one thing in the garbage. Like this is probably the worst declutter you've ever seen. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you like these declutter videos. Subscribe if you're not already for more. And I'll see you guys in my next video.